Hey, what's up, everybody? Today I'm going to teach you how to turn normal footage like this into da 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 horror footage. Wait, didn't I already make this tutorial? <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, last time I made this uh, horror color correction tutorial, blah, blah, tutorial, I didn't exactly know everything that I know now. So um, I know a couple a couple tips for making it look a bit nicer. So I thought I would do it again. So this is horror color correction number two, I guess. Um, all right, so. Uh, you can download this footage. This is just something random I grabbed off of my computer. I'm sorry, by the way, it's a bit grainy. Um, if you look, you can see a bit of grain, like in here and in here and stuff. So I'm sorry about that. This is just footage I grabbed off my computer. I was making something with my brother, and anyway. Um, so yeah, you can download this footage, which is what I'm going to be using. Uh, there's a link in the description. Just click, uh, should be to Mediafire. Just click the link and click download. It's that easy. And uh, yeah, just drop that into After Effects. So here we go. New project. Don't save. Uh, so just drag in the footage, or you can use your own if you want. Uh, and then drag it into a new comp right here. Okay. So this is what we have. Sort of uh, my computer's being a bit slow because I have it doing a million things at the same time um, as I'm trying to make this tutorial. Okay. So you see, we got uh, just basically it sort of just spins around and he's like talking or something. Um, yeah, that's a good creepy frame. All right, um, but let's drag it back here. Okay, so what we're going to do is hit Control Alt Y to make a new adjustment layer, and then hit Control Alt Y again to make another. So just Control Alt Y Y. Another way of doing that is going Layer uh, File. No, wait, what the heck am I doing? I haven't done this in forever. Layer, yeah, Layer New Adjustment Layer. There we go. Okay, I, I'm so used to doing Control Alt Y, I forgot where the button was. Okay. So, uh, what we're going to do is click the top layer and go to Effects and Presets. If you don't have Effects and Presets open, you can click Window... Uh, where is it? Window... Do, 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 do. Effects and Presets. Here we go. Or, the easier way is you can just hit Control 5 and that will make it pop up. Okay. And this is just an easier way to browse through effects. You, uh, for everything I'm doing in here, you could also do Effect color correction, blah, 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 but that's just going to take longer. So, click in Effects and Presets here and type in Exposure right here and drag that onto this adjustment layer. Uh, I'm just going to hit Enter on the adjustment layer and name it Color Correction, C uh, CC for Color Correction. And then this top one, just hit Enter and call it Vignette. Maybe that's spelled right, maybe it's not. I don't care, it's close enough. Uh, now click into Effects and Presets and type in Brightness and Contrast. And drag that one on. Now click here again, type in Curves. Type, uh, draw, dra blah, drag that one on. My mouth is not working today. Okay, and then type in again Hue and Saturation. Drag that on. And then on the Vignette one, we want to do Curves again. I could have just dragged that on twice, but I'm stupid, so I decided not to. Okay, now on Vignette, we're just going to grab this thing and drag it way down, like that or something. Now that looks great, doesn't it? No, of course it doesn't. So we're going to come up here to uh, this thingy, and if you're new to After Effects, it'll look like this probably. So just hit here, click, and drag down to the Ellipse tool. Or you can just hit Q a bunch of times to cycle through. Um, but yes, we want the Ellipse tool. So then just double click it, and we get a nice little Ellipse tool thingy here. Click here to turn on the masks, or you know, uh, mask path or whatever, and if it's on already, just leave it. Um, and then we are going to click here, uh, or hit M if it for some reason didn't pop up, and click uh, subtract, and click this button again to turn them off. And now hit MM a uh, bunch of times until you get that. <laughs> uh, like three times. And then we're going to take the feather up. There we go. And now just to show you what that did, it was like that. We made it that. So now turn it off. We're going to turn it on at the end. It'll make it look better. Now we're going to come here to our color correction layer. And this looks complicated, doesn't it? Um, okay, so we're going to take the exposure and drag it up here. We don't, like, if you drag it up too much, you'll get sort of stuff starting to blow out. And we want to sort of find that point where stuff is just about to start blowing out, but hasn't quite blown out yet. So I would say, you see, this, start, this is blowing out a little bit. So um, maybe right around there. Okay. And now the gamma is sort of, uh, if I sort of do it, you can see it's it's almost like it looks like a gray layer sort of on top of everything, and you sort of turn it on and off. That's, that's what it sort of looks like to me. 
Um, but now we're just going to sort of take this to somewhere that looks good. So something like about like that. You can hold down control to go more slowly um, while you're sliding the thing. And you can hold down shift to go more quickly. Uh, but you're not going to want to do that here. Okay, so hold down control again, and we're going to go to offset and just turn that down very slightly. So let's see what that did. That's kind of a bit nicer, I think. Um, now, brightness and contrast, you may not really need it, but it's a, just a nice because you have very little fine-tuning, because I think you should do most of it with exposure. Um, and so I'm going to mess with the contrast first, hold down control, and let's see what we can get here. Turn the contrast up, maybe like that. And then for brightness, turn it. Uh, also should be holding down control still. Okay, something like that. Okay. Not a major change, but it makes it maybe slightly nicer. Um, okay, now we are going to go to the curves, and I'm just going to take a picture of this right here. Ow, that was loud. Um, just click that button, take a little picture, and then, you know, for example, if we change this like that, we can hit this button to see what our picture was. So that's, that's a useful effect, um, just for comparing things. Uh, so I'm going to add a little bit of a contrast curve here. Drag this up slightly, drag this down. It doesn't have to be a lot. That's probably not looking good, so undo that. Okay. Um, okay, something like that. So this was our original. That's that. You know, it depends on what you want. We're going to turn the saturation down later if you're thinking that should happen. Um, now, notice this is very red. Horror footage is not red. Red sort of means, you know, generally, you know, like when you see a lot of red in a shot, it makes you sort of think, oh, happy, you know, family, blah, 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 blah. We don't want that. We want to get rid of it. Um, that's too much. But, so we want to drag the red down to maybe, like, there or something. Uh, now, last time I did uh, horror, I sort of went with a greenish color. This time I'm going with more of a bluer. It's just your, all your preference and what you think looks better and what type of movie you're making. Um, blue, I sort of think more, like, apocalypse type look, and green, I sort of think more sort of creepy supernaturally thingy. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go with the blue, anyway. Uh, so there's a little bit too much green in this, so we're going to take a teeny little bit of green out. Now there's looking like there's too much red. Uh, and now we're going to take down here, go to the blue channel, and turn that up a little bit. Go to the green channel. you got to just tweak it around a little bit and try to find something that you like. Okay, that looks a bit extreme, but, um, let me see. Looks a bit extreme, but I think I'm going to leave it for the moment. And now click on Human Saturation, and we're going to turn the saturation down, because horror movies don't usually, we don't want to black and white, but horror movies don't usually have a lot of color, because it looks weird, um, and we want to sort of make everything look oddly unnatural without removing all the colors. So, let's see. What did we start with? Zero is what we started with. Drag this down a bit. Something like that. And show you the difference. It just makes it a little bit creepier. Um, and let's see. We had that. Boom. That's a big difference. Um, all right. So that's looking pretty good. Um, I could spend more time with it, but I don't want to bore you to death. It's just tweaking settings. Do what you want. Make it look good. Um, and basically it's going to end up looking something like that. Uh, if you think this is a bit too strong, you can hit T, and then we can just sort of show how much of that affects the video. So, you know, we could have all of it, none of it, or somewhere in between. Thing. Okay, and now you can also turn on this vignette that, you ha that we had here. It's maybe a bit strong. Um, you know, you could feather it out more, bring the expansion in. And then you can always hit T and, you know, turn it down. Just put whatever you want. Something like that. Okay. And boom. Done. These should not be keyframed. Uh, so, yes. And then we can preview it if you want. Um, I will pause the recording and bring it back when we're done. All right. So it just finished uh, previewing. So here, this is this is what we've got. See, it's so horribly grainy. I'm really sorry about that. But yeah, uh, effects-wise, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, yes.
So anyway, that's how you do color correction. Hope this helped you out. I've got some free pre-key video effects. If you are interested in checking those out, uh, just click on my channel and you can just browse through them. There should be a... Uh, uh, just, just, just look at my videos. You'll see, you know, free, pre-keyed, blah, 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 and then click on that and click the link in the description, download it, and, uh, pre-keyed, by the way, means that it's sort of like it's on a green screen, only there's no green to key out, so you can just drop the effect right onto your footage, um, because the background color is already keyed out for you, so it's really useful. Um, alright, yes, like I said, hope I helped you out, and I will see you next time.